Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome back to another SnowRunner video. And we're back on Drummond again. Uh, we've got some work to do. I still got this little drill bit on the back here. But the RGB crew are here. This is Mr. Somi behind me. And Puppies is on the map somewhere. He's a little bit desync, but I think he might be near the fuel station. I'm not sure. I am at the fuel station, yeah. Fair enough. Now, <laughs> Somi's in the P-16, the Pacific P-16, which uh, we got from here on the map. So what happened was Puppies drove down uh, this bit of road and the P-16's line here, you don't need to repair it or refuel it. It's just ready to go. Uh, by default, it'll pull trailers, but it doesn't have a fifth wheel. And the only thing that you can add to it is a fifth wheel, but you have to take it back to the garage to do that. Uh, there's also a trailer here, I think with concrete slabs on something like that but that's basically all we've done uh so the plan now is for me and somi somi's picked up a trailer full of wood from here we're going to drive down the road to this bridge this bridge needs fixing as well so we're going to throw some planks at that and then see how far we can get some uh, pups is going to go and scout ahead uh we're trying to get to the port up here for this dyson mission so i suspect there'll be some more problems in the way but we'll get going and see what's what you ready to rock and roll mr somi Yes, with a completely OP truck. <laughs> that is, to be fair, a very good truck. The, the only the only downside of that P16 is like you can't do anything to it apart from the fifth wheel. I mean, I, I do believe they've got the, the balance right of vehicles. Like the ones that you that you could only do very limited things with, I think are right. Because if you could. Like, let's imagine that we can put a frame out on this truck. Well, once you've got it, you just use this for everything, right? That's true. It'd be like a one-size-fits-all. But the P12, like its smaller brother, is a decent truck as well. Yep, it's got such a long wheelbase on it, though. I've struggled with so many corners with it, and you know, this is, like, a bit more dinkier, but you can't... If, if, if you could have a crane on this, I'd be happy, you know? That but thing's like thing a bulldog. Like, it's squat and low <laughs> and wide. <laughs> A pull. Looks like we've just about got enough horses. And I'll just, um, you know, drive up it without even imagining that I'm on an incline. Yeah, your truck's like what hill? Up, oh, speed limit sign. Apparently, we don't have any speed limit anymore. Uh, I wouldn't pay attention to that anyway. Yeah, it's getting dark again. Yeah, and I've got candlesticks for lights. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the other thing about that truck, isn't it? Is you can't add any more lights, and the ones that it has are really bad. You love that if you drive it in first person, like the bonnet is taken up by a good third of your view. Like you can't see. <laughs> Do you need to go via the fuel station? Uh, I've got two six two at three hundred, so I'm I'm okay really. You probably do though, right? I've got 200 out of 240, I'm good. I'll just not quite literally plow on. So one thing about Drummond, it's got fuel, but it doesn't have a repair centre or a garage or anything. But you really are quite isolated when you get here. Yeah, and the, the, the lack of a garage in Ireland Lake as well is really a, a big challenging section you know? I think a lot of this game becomes planning and manoeuvring the right vehicles into the right place yeah if there's a place for me to overtake <laughs> at any point yeah um, you go on the outside of me here Right side. Can you fit through there? Yeah, just about the right side. Probably we're gonna make the mission uh, acceptance no. points here, isn't it? I love my screen right now. 
looks like Casper the friendly ghost is pulling the train. In. <laughs> Can you see headlights? No! No. A massive boulder in the middle of the road here. Quite where the mission is. I'm ready for a cutscene. Yeah. I've been promoted! Another dodgy bridge. Thousand dollars for that. How's that? Oh. oh. Burn that in fuel? You didn't miss thing. <laughs> right, pups, I don't know where you are, but you're going scouting. Yeah, I'm just crossing the bridge. Or in the ghost trailer. Yeah. We've definitely got some work to do on the multiplayer desync. Right, pups, I'm off to the grass on the left hand side. So if okay. you're on the, the track or on the right hand side grass, you'll pass me. Yeah, you're clear. Okay. <laughs> and you're stuck in a divot. <laughs> well, I'm just crossing the bridge now. That dropped. What? There's a massive drop just before the bridge and it detached the trailer. <laughs> I'm taking lots of little one point damages here. Mini boulders. Yeah, just like rocks and ditches and stuff. What was I discovered then? A service trailer. That you can't use unless you hook up to it. I think that's a feature or a bug. <laughs> like, like genuine question, because you can refuel from a trailer without attaching, but you can't repair from a trailer without attaching. And I don't know if that was a design choice or not. Cousin Cletus, discovered by Sammy. You know, C Cletus is always the, the trucking name for one of the old school Sega um, PS two games I think it was and there was a guy in there called Cletus who used to love driving this truck you know wasn't there a Cletus in um, Simpsons as well I seem to remember uh, and a cousin Cletus I think you're right yeah. alright so I've got a sideboard trailer here with some concrete slabs on it service trailer hmm I could hook up to that service trailer and get a cheeky repair Wow, I can't see pups on the screen, but I can see him discovering map. That's hilarious. Yeah, which is what <laughs> was happening for me earlier. I can now see him on the screen, but you can't. It's like somebody's got a magic crane on the map. Wow. The multiplayer desync. One thing I do like about this P16 is the reversing lights. There is actually some. Yeah. Make up for the lack of headlines. Yeah, I'll just drive back until you That makes sense. <laughs> right, so I've got a maintenance trailer here. If I go to repair. I get no option. I attach the trailer and go to repair. I then get full access to the server. I don't know, like. And the why best thing is. That makes sense. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. And if I attach to it, I can then repair you that's next to me, even though you couldn't repair by being next to it. It's just weird. Yeah, assuming there's like loads of tools and parts in the back of that thing, why do I need to hitch to it in order to repair my vehicle? Yeah, it's not like you're sort of pumping, you know, repair down the airlines or anything. You know, you're... <laughs> why, you know, if you had a service trailer in the field, why would you need to attach to it in order to be able to use it? Maybe it's like an airlock door. You can't unlock the airlock door unless you put some power on from your truck. Let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, hmm. Are you getting that watchtower pups? Yeah. Okay. By the time I get around the corner, you'll probably have that. I mean, you can't see me actually getting it. You can see me unlocking the map. Yeah, but that's <laughs> the, that's the thing I need. I need to see which road goes to the port that I need to go down. I'll be there in a minute. Got a hangar left at this service trailer and get the other watch tower pulled. Hopefully, you can see me. I can see you. I think me and you are synced up. It's just Pops is. Uh... It's because I'm that awesome. Yeah. He's just awesomely desynced. Yeah. Featurally desynced. That's what it is. It's a unique feature. Is that a developer? Is that something that we've just made up? Or was that actually somebody that said they're not bugs, they're features? Oh, that's that's been a thing for a while. Sat in many a meeting, showing clients some new features and point out bugs. I'm like, no, it's not a bug; it's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> Same as teachers. Yeah, I meant to put that mistake in there. Just exactly. to see who was paying attention. Exactly. <laughs> it's the I'm never wrong approach. Boy, this is a slow grind round here. Watchtower opened, forged by the sea, ten hot and mud wrestling. Oh, fancy a bit of mud wrestling, do you? Let's do it. There's plenty of it round here. got caught on a twig stupid thing it gets caught between your axles another watchtower okay so it looks like there's a bridge ahead of me with a mission called 10 huts and there's an upgrade down there so wait what's that trailer a ramped flatbed trailer which has some metal and concrete on it where did you actually see that uh, right next to mud wrestling can you see mud wrestling? Oh, okay, yeah. And then what do you click? Do you click on the ramp flapper trailer yeah. in the objects? Yeah, if you click... Oh, no, I see. Yeah, and it tells you what's on it already. Ah, fair enough. So it's got metal and some concrete blocks by the look of it, I think. Right. No, they're slabs. They're not blocks. The concrete blocks actually looks a little bit like a brick. Oh, okay. But... I'm guessing that Drum Bridge is not there. There so appears to be a bridge ahead that's broken. So you're going to get round this corner and suddenly find that you can't go very far. Yep. Right here, though. So yeah, this part is not going to be delivered just yet. I feel like I'm wondering because I'm level 11 now and I'm sure there's new tyres available at level 11. I think you're right. There's another set of muds, is there? I think so. Maybe bigger ones or a bigger grip or something like that. Thinking at some point I might have to jump back into the garage and bring some new equipment down here. Just going to quickly down to this 10 hut thing. Set mission $6,000. 10 hut activated. Right, so 10 hut is. Yeah, drum and bridge. So, metal uh, planks we've seen around, concrete blocks we've seen around, concrete slabs we have not. Sorry, no, the other way around. We've got yeah. the slab and the metal, we don't have the block. So, yeah. if we do bring a vehicle back through from a garage again, we should probably bring some concrete block with us. Yeah, I think that sounds like a plan. We grab this upgrade that's down here quickly. Yeah, go for it. Pops. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get one down here. No, cut, screw, or pull. Pops is on oh, the Oh, I'm in front of you. Oh, what? I can't even see you. Yeah, Pups is in front of, in front of you. Wow. Because of the map. The D sync that is real. Looked, that, that almost looked like you drove into him then. Wow, 
right, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold some metal down. What was that upgrade for? Uh, the big trucks is a V12 engine. The big trucks. Not for one. Yeah, not for what we're driving. Right, for like the Pacific and stuff. Yeah, and the Fleet Star was one. And the International Pay Star is it? Okay. Probably that was in the list. Oh, this is a. How dodgy can the road to the port be? This is insane. How can a port have stuff coming out of it inland via this road? Ooh, tarmac. Yeah, and then it's about to run. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing that needs to go there is the concrete slab. Because we have to get the order right on this. Yeah, it's yeah. the slab has to go there now. And the slab was the one down near the Pacific P-16, I think. Uh, yep. Yeah, it was. Yep. So that needs to be hauled back. At the same time, some more metal, but we can't hand the metal in yet. Well, shall I, shall I take the Pacific to go and get that uh, low bed trailer? Yeah, well, the one with the slab on it. Yeah, the one with the slab and the planks on it. Yeah, I could take this truck and go and get the other metal, but I can't remember where it is. Well, but that uh, low board trailer has got metal and slab on it. Oh, right, okay, so you can basically hand both in. Well, I can hand the slab in for the first stage and hand the metal in for the other half of the second stage. Yep. So then all we need is a concrete brick. Yeah. Right, so. We had a little intermission there. I grabbed some fuel. Puppies ran off and uh, grabbed another truck. And Sommies grabbed the P16 with the big trailer on. It's got the metal and the concrete slabs that's already on this map. Um, so we've got a bridge ahead of us. That we're going to unlock now, 10 hut. And then I'm going to drive this thing down to the port and deliver it. And that, the mission done. Oh yeah. So should I drive down here and you go past me or what? Yeah, there, there's a little like left lay by before the bridge, so okay. hopefully there'll be enough room for me to get this monster pass. At least I'm back in sync now. That's true. <laughs> so this is a really tiny bendy dirt road for to be coming out of a major port. Yeah. with the boulders just for the lol. Yeah. <laughs> right, so if I just pull up over here. So I need to deliver a concrete slab to here. Is it slab first, as I can't remember? Yeah, because you did the metal planks, didn't you, before the intermission. Cutscene! That's the metal. And do you remember back in all those days of when we did the when you did the very very first bridge, where it was just wooden planks and metal was all that you needed? Yeah. The right, scumbag about the... this mission is the fact that you got to do metal and concrete slab and metal and concrete brick. Yeah. Can't see. Waiting for the. 16 bricks I had on my trailer did it a lot. I want to know where that tarmac came from. <laughs> did look pretty cool on that cutscene where you could see the three of us. Okay, so then. I don't suppose there's any upgrades or anything freebies around here. Doesn't look like it on there. Uh, we fixed the bridge, boys. No, 
how long the tarmac's gonna last. Oh, it's muddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was then about to say, not long. <laughs> I think the most tarmac I've seen in this game is in the starting map in, in that town. Yeah. Apart from that, it's everywhere else right. is just mud and dirt. <laughs> Your black just seems like so long ago, doesn't it? Game freeze! Yeah, me and Pubs will just do hill stuff. Don't worry about it. What? Fix your graphics bits another time, don't worry about that. What happens when <laughs> that happens to you? Do I just freeze on your screen? You just yeah. You pause, and, but me and Pups can still move around the environment. That's so weird. we could have gone past you while you were frozen. So once we got this delivered, we've just got the big one. Indeed, we do. The big final mission. Michigan, the boss fight. How did you enjoy your 50 metres of tarmac, Paul? I loved it. I enjoyed it. I savoured the tarmac. <laughs> you know, the tarmac that's got the little tiny pebbles on it that's going to do suspension damage. I don't mind that. I just wish they'd allow you to clean it up. I wish they'd allow you to yeah. bring a bulldozer or something and just shove it all out of the way. Road sweet, <laughs> I see they've kind of done it with the bridges where you've got to fix the bridge to get over but I kind of like the idea of you having to sort the environment out like if it was full of yeah. snow in a you know a big snow drift you'd have to get a snow plow and shove it out of the way fix the potholes or whatever like you've just got to change the environment back to carry on I like that oh there's a lot of time I care though look at this there it is there's the machine. Final boss fight. Um, I think we forgot to activate a mission somewhere. You need to accept it. There you go. Harbour delivery. Contract complete. I just got oh, a call yeah. from the port crew to say the crate's safely arrived. Thanks for you. Anytime. Right, so looking at the mission list now, that's now unlocked out of the old, and out of the old is going to be this massive rig here, back to Smithfield Dam, and then metal planks and oil rig drill in Smithfield Dam. Oil rig drill. Um, it's another one of those parts, do you isn't it? Recall from um, when we did Black River, you know, we put the. Um, the oil mining thing online. We had yeah. to take one of those parts to it and basically repeat but in a different order on for this one by the looks of it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to, because this is going to need a saddle high, so we're going to need a yeah. new truck, either that one with a high saddle back here or something else substantial and then the stuff that needs to be done in the dam. Yep. But I think, like I think that's going to go in the next video. Indeed. So, onward and upward. Michigan's almost done.